What's up guys? Today we're doing one thing and one thing only. We're gonna take this dribble design right here and I'm gonna spend 30 minutes and only 30 minutes as close to uh, building this as possible. I'm gonna need some fillers for like graphics and and you know icons. So I think I'm gonna skip over those things and just jump right in uh, with, with the actual UI. So let's start that time right now. It's 1.40 my time. Uh, and uh, yeah, here we go. So I'm, I'm old school here, so we're actually gonna go in. Okay, so I'm gonna jump into my terminal, which I've got up here. We're gonna CD into projects. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this from the beginning. Oh, sorry, we gotta go into documents. I'm gonna take it all the way from the beginning. Uh, I think I have a GitHub in there. Um, let's see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And we're gonna make a new directory here. We're gonna call it, um, Let's see, we'll call it dribble one. I gotta get those three B's in there. All right, C D drib. And uh, now here I've got this this cute little WS period. This is gonna open up WebStorm. That's the IDE that I use for uh, coding. And so, oh man, I should have done a create react app, huh? Let's jump back over here actually. Uh, let's see. Now we got a CD back. We're gonna RM RF on the um, dribble guy because we're gonna create React app, and we can call that guy dribble one. And I actually think WebStorm after this is created, I think WebStorm will see it um, because I have that directory open over there on WebStorm. So we'll see. We'll see if I have to do any more work on that. Bibbity bop. Oh man, this can take a while. I should I should have said 30 minutes besides load times. We'll see every time I have to, to add a package. We're gonna try to go basically no packages. I don't think I need really anything more than basic create react app to get going here. Um, since everything I'm doing is front end. I, I wanna show you guys also, I've been playing with this really cool technology called Storybook JS. It's super cool. It helps you build components separately without without it's kind of a different development workflow. You build it component by component before you put it into a page flow. The purpose being that you can then see, oh yeah, see, I still got dribble over here. Uh, you can then see and be like certain, just so you guys know, I have a terminal down here in the bottom, so I'm gonna not be switching back and forth over there. Um, let's see, yarn, start. Let's just see what that looks like right now. It should just be the basic. Anyway, Storybook JS, it's very cool. The idea is that you you should be focusing on components that are reusable and can fit everywhere. So you you build starting at basic components, and then you build outwards, finally getting to where you're placing those components into a page, right? Okay, React app, we're looking nice. Here we go. Okay, so I'm basically gonna start by adding these containers. We've got like a sidebar, and then another sidebar, which is kind of funny. Uh, and then we've got this middle, the main section here. So as you can tell, I'm not doing a component by component sort of flow right here, but I am going to pull out the components. And we're not gonna worry about multiple screens right now, but um, let's go into app. If I were doing multiple pages, uh, then I'd need to worry about, I'd, I'd have another directory here for for pages, and then we'd deal with the routing and things like that. But for right now, I'm just jumping straight in here. I'm probably just gonna use app.css. I usually use SCSS. Oh, it might be worth doing, but it takes a second to set up. I don't really wanna waste the time. Anyway, we'll jump right in here. I'll leave this main guy, and we're just gonna say, um, uh, class name. Actually, let's do let's do some Emmet in here. We're gonna do. Um, why is everything saying it's wrong? Huh. That might just be a linter thing going on. Uh, okay, we're gonna say we're gonna call this sidebar. Oh, we got to call this nav bar because it is a side nav bar. And then uh, we're also going to have a 
I'm gonna do main dot main, <laughs> and then we're also no. Okay, I'm gonna change this one more time. We're gonna have a main inside of that. We're going to have navbar, and we're going to have this is Emmet syntax by the way. You'll see how this plays out as long as it works. Sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> Uh, we'll have a nav bar. We'll have a main, or we'll, have, we'll just call it content, so we're not confused. Then we'll also have a sidebar. No, didn't work. That's frustrating. It should basically do this main. Why does it not like what I'm doing? Change JavaScript language. Now what? See, maybe it would have worked now. Because if we do navbar, mm hmm. Okay, now I'll finish out to show you guys some more Emmet syntax because we can just say like content plus is a sibling. This goes inside of it. So I can do like plus sidebar and it should do both of them together like that. Okay, now really I'm going to end up pulling these out into their own components, but I just wanted to be able to map this out quick for myself. Let's check out. So the nav bar over here, we've got like a logo and then we've got four menu items. So, and they're actually like separated by quite a bit of distance. So I'm going to containerize this part here and then have a container here with the actual nav items. So, um, let's do this. This will be a logo container. No, let's actually say, yeah, logo section. We'll make it a section. All of these maybe should have been sections, but we'll make that a logo section. And then we'll call um, within logo section. So we'll say inside of Emmet syntax. We're gonna say logo container because I need a, I need something that's gonna be that square with the, with the shadow around the outside of it. So logo container. Inside of that, we're gonna say image.logo, boom. Okay, so we got all that in here. I'm gonna pull this down a bit. Alrighty, alrighty. And then we're also going to want another section. And this is going to be, um, let's see, we'll call it, um, well, yeah, so first of all, this will be like the nav container, nav container, yeah, sure. And then inside of that, we're going to do nav. Um, it'll be a UL nav. Ooh, my keyboard's a little bit broken right now. Okay, then we're gonna have LA nav item. This is a really cool thing about Emmet syntax. I can multiply that by four. Press tab, boom. Now I got all my nav items. I actually, before I do that, I should do this and add an A link inside each of those that's going to be a little nicer because that's really what i would want if i were doing this for real you know each of these is a is its own little item here um okay and uh, i gotta go back again you see each of these also should have an image inside of them because they're each going to have their own little um their own little icon okay so here we go we've got these items i'm going to need to deal with active states hover states i'm going to kind of be mocking the um, active state of something because i'm not actually adding a router i don't really have time for that we're down to like 20 minutes we're <laughs> we only mocked this out okay so now let's do this dashboard section and then i'm going to start fleshing it out a little bit before i worry about this because i'm afraid i'm not going to have time but let's just jump into it you, you can see i'm just thinking in containers here like i'm thinking in div sections um, just how I'm going to pull that out. I'm also not worrying about mobile, so that's different than normal. But let's see. Okay, we've got an H1 here, kind of in its own row. I'm, I'm going to break it into rows on this one. So we've got like four rows that I'm going to deal with, and then I'll deal with each of those rows. So within content, I'm going to make a class called row. We're going to multiply it by four to get our rows. I'll deal with this first one first. And uh, this is going to be like an H1 in here. And we're going to be saying progress dashboard. Blah, blah, blah. There we go. And yeah, that's got like three cards inside of that next row. And so I'm going to just call them 
cards. They're each going to need like width separations, but we'll just say card times three. Okay, and then down here we're going to have this is like another card, so we'll say it's interesting though. These like widths are really weird. See how this one moves back out into its uh, we call these gutters, like in between each of these components. It's weird that they did that. So this is kind of its own style of section. So we're gonna have to, but but we'll call it a card for now. And then that other thing on there, we're gonna call it like a progress indicator for now. Really hope we get far on this. Okay, and the last one we've got like two section section links. Um, we'll just call those like let's see grammar dictionary. Yeah, I'll just call that like this will not nav link. We'll call it like um, content link. This is a terrible name for it but I need to call it something and I don't want to think about it. Only got 20 minutes left. Okay, this thing here. Oh, look, they have very similar. Okay, that's different though. Alrighty, Whew. we're moving. I'm gonna actually like flesh this guy out here and get each of the sections to be their own width that they should take up. So I'm gonna focus on this probably having a fixed width, this guy flexing, this guy having a, fl a fixed width as well. So let's see how that looks. Yeah, we've already got some weird style things happening here. That's okay. Okie dokie. All right, the first thing here is I'm actually going to pull out nav into its own thing here. So we'll say nav.js. And nav, my friend here, is going to... I really should make this a automatic thing I can do. Nav equals... Boom, boom. I'm just going to be in all uh, functional components here. We're going to export default with that nav. And then I need it to be returning something. Here we go. So now I can pull that nav out. And I'm going to just grab that whole nav uh, here. So this should actually be called nav. I'll grab this instead of nav bar. We'll call this nav. Uh, and then boom, we've got a class nav that's going to be pulled in. My IDE should be able to grab that here and I'll close it out. That's just the nav right there. It's looking nice. It automatically grabs that nav for me, which is nice. Logo.svg. I should just throw that in as the logo, I guess. Um, where was that? Oh, I guess it's over here. Let's pull that in here just to have something. Um, logo, logo, logo. Source will equal logo. Actually, can't I just? Well, we'll do that. See how that goes. Whoa. Okay. We have to dive into styles here pretty quick. I also wish I could rip. I wish I could rip these individual icons a little bit better. I'm gonna have to use some placeholder icons. Mm, you know what? In, I'm going to cheat this, at least to have this logo that they used. I'm going to actually just like do this <laughs> and uh, then, we'll, then we won't have to worry as much about like these crazy P period. Okay, now here's where things get a little bit, little bit crazy. Um, I can jump in here, I can rip out all of the app stuff and then we've just got like dot .nav, right? Oh, how badly do I want SCSS? I'm just going to do CSS for you guys today. I hope that doesn't take longer than it would have taken to set it up. But Okay, so the entire thing, actually, we need to be... This like app needs to actually be changing the way it flexes. So, so we're going to do display flex if it isn't already. We're then going to say um, flex direction. I honestly guess every time with this, and then we see where that goes. Yeah, that seems wrong. What? Let's check out where these things are going. Oh, 
Oh, this is nav. I need to do, is it capital A app? Yeah, app column. That's what I was confused about. I think I did. App. Sometimes I just jump in here to the console just to play around with things. I don't know why that's not changing the way that this is being displayed. I would have, maybe I have to flex the items themselves. Let's check that out. Um, let's just say, oh, I can't use SCSS. Okay. And uh, we're just going to say app and then everything in, everything that's like a direct child of app. I'm just going to give display flex and we'll just see what that does for us. Yay, okay, that's looking a little bit more like I would have expected. Okay. Um, okay, okay, okay. So now we've got this app thing going on. We're going to give nav a background color. I don't know why I capitalized that. You guys are going to get super annoyed. My my N, my N key is broken right now, and I really need to get it fixed. Uh, yep, as, long, as well as my space bar, so I get all these extra like periods and stuff. It's terrible. Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna grab this color. I have this cool extension that lets me just grab colors. And so we'll do that. That way we can at least see like what our what our nav is doing here. And then I'm gonna grab the color of the of this guy, which I think is a, is a completely separate color. And we're gonna give dot sidebar also a background color. And that guy is going to look like that. Mm, he doesn't exist. Wait, wait a second. What? Didn't I make something called sidebar? Sidebar. You ain't got nothing inside of yous. That's probably the issue. Okay. Um, and then we'll just leave the main section. I don't know if that's like white. Yeah, it's just white. Okay. Nice. Let's get out of that. Okay. So now we need to deal with this. Oh, man. I only have 15 minutes left. <laughs> We're halfway. Okay, so now I need to deal with, um, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit here. We're gonna deal with this part of it, this whole sidebar. And I'm actually not yet gonna worry about filling these out to their exact sizes. We'll flex that and stuff. But for now, this is like some kind of 100 width or something. So I'm gonna give nav width 100 pixels, height 100%. And now the thing is, we've got a dot app that needs height 100%. We've also got like a, a, what's it called? Like, well, sometimes you can do this to be safe. I think it's like this root. And we'll just say height 100%, width 100%, padding zero, margin zero, just to kind of reset. This is like a little, little reset guy. Now we're wondering why this nav, even though, oh, we've got a main as well that I forgot about. So we're going to go to main and we're going to say, oh, also my shift key doesn't work. <laughs> These are not excuses. This is a real thing. This is my life. I'm a developer full time. It's crazy. Um, okay. Height 100% with 100%. Actually, I should be smarter about this and be like just using flex for this stuff. But anyway, here we go. Okay. So now We've got a nav that needs to center things. So we're going to say align items center. Um, that flex. Oh, you know what I did? That's interesting. It's the, it's main was getting in my way. I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, so what I need to do is also make, sorry, it's justify content. You can see I have a great grasp of flex box. <laughs> Um, okay, and then we're actually going to say space between. Let's think about that. No, no, we're not going to do it. We're actually going to give that top part its own. Let's see, padding top. I don't know how much it needs. Let's look at that again. Like 40 pixels, maybe. Now, each of these things. This whole, see nav actually has the right, the wrong. That's what I need to do is say 
column, and this was supposed to be a line items. I just keep forgetting to do that. That's going to be better. So line item center, flex direction column. Um, flex direction column. This is a line items. Okay. This is probably the least entertaining content you've ever seen on YouTube. <laughs> okay. Man, I'm really sad about this SCSS. I want to show you guys how beautiful SCSS is. I don't need to do that. Logo section. So this is this is what's going to be like giving me the spacing that I want. I'm going to give it all kinds of margin on the bottom. Um, and it will help me Let's see what I'm talking about right there. Let's get out of that. So I get kind of that that section that we're looking for. Zoom out of that a bit. They really make it look so much nicer with these rounded corners. Okay, we got 10 minutes left. We are not going to get that far. <laughs> I thought I could do this faster, you guys. Okay, um, let's see. Let's see. Okay, this needs to be bold, orange. So we'll give it, I don't know if I, load container. Did I end up doing this? Color. We're just going to grab, we're just going to say orange for now until I grab that color. Font size, 18 pixels. Let's see, what are we, what are we doing? Yeah, hey, that worked. Okay, let's grab that color. It's a nice deep red orange there. Basically, grab it. Please register color pick. Thought it was a free tool, my friend. Here we go. Boom. Okay, but I am gonna do font weight. We'll just say bold. I'm not going to match the font exactly, but you can see where we're going with this. That's Dece. I'm going to do some letter spacing just to get that period a little farther away. Let's do that. Interesting. Okay. And let's just bump this just because I think theirs looks cooler and mine will look cooler if it's bigger. Yeet. Okay. Now we also need to do... Can you guys see how I'm like organizing my CSS here? With SCSS you can nest, but with CSS I just kind of try to do it by like the the main wrappers start up top and as I get more specific I go underneath. So logo section contains logo container, logo container contains the span and and so on and so forth. I could name the span with a with a class, but um okay. So let's at least do do something cool here with the um I'll show you guys. This is called new morphism, I believe, um, and it's this logo container that we're looking at. We're gonna give it some padding so that it has this box around it, um, and then we gotta give it. We got, we're gonna give it two box shadows. So the first box shadow is actually gonna be like five pixels out both sides. So this is X offset, Y offset, and it's going to go right and down. Then we're going to go um, like how, how much blur it has on it. There's an optional spread here that I'm going to leave out. Uh, and, then, and then we're going to give it some RGB. I don't know what we're looking at here, but it's got to be something pretty. That's quite a bit. Also, I have way too much padding on it. Let's try that. I instead of padding let's just go let's just go height um 50 pixels width because this way i at least know like the exact dimensions and i can center i'm gonna have to sneeze Ooh. <coughs> oh yikes um let's see we're gonna this is like way too crazy i need to back off on this quite a bit sorry it's pretty dark Okay, and then what I'm going to do is say display flex, and then I'm going to say flex direction. Nope, I don't need to do that. I need to align items, center, and then I also need to justify content center. And then we've got this little guy is now center. I may offset it just a little bit so that that P looks a little more centered like they did. It's kind of eyeballed center. It's not, it's not necessarily center, but we'll see. Okay, but the other thing I have to do now is add basically the opposite box shadow, but we're going to make it completely white. 
see how that works so this is this is the skew more the are the new morphism that i'm talking about where if you add this shadow on one side and then the lightness on the other side that's why it's not a completely white background here then you end up with this this pretty cool look it's interesting they actually added even more shadows so if i did this this is going to be what the entire video ends up being about they've also got these insets so i can inset as well let's play with that really quick um I can add all of these shadows. So if I say like inset, and we'll say three pixels, three pixels. Let's just see what this looks like. Whoop. Oh, that's looking hanky panky right now. <laughs> it's looking real, real nice. This is actually the the white one. So let's go. Um, two fifty five, two fifty five, two fifty five. Now they actually go pretty hard on that one. Whoa! <laughs> Can I do this? Yeah, no, it's pretty hard. But then, but then it's this guy that ends up being. Do you guys see what I'm doing here? I'm just flying by the seat of my pants. That's like a little bit closer. We're still getting some of the dark shadow from it. Oof, 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 oof. Let's try spreading this a little less. Or blurring it a little less. Let's see. All right. All right, all right, all right. I also, I went way too hard on this. Okay, so the only other thing would be to do another inset. But we'll reverse this to be dark again. Ooh, and um, this is the longest line of, and then we got to do negative on here. I actually think I, wow, hello there. Forgot to tune that down. Like this is what they're doing. <laughs> let's see, the inset needs to actually have like not very much. Okay, let's go four on each of these. But then I need to pull, actually how much do they have? Yeah, I need to pull back. They're probably also using a color besides black, so it's not going to look exact. Yikes, my friends. Yikes. I mean, listen, that's not that bad. That's basically what they're doing. I'm going to tone down the original to be the original black that you get on the bottom right corner. I actually liked it more before. I don't, okay, I'm not going to fine tune this anymore, but you get the idea. See how it looks like totally 3D? That's pretty cool. They did a great job. I think I think they actually had a lot more um, blur, especially on this one. It was probably darker and had like more blur on that white part. But they really fine-tuned that a lot. Anyway, that's kind of what it looks like. I'm going to offset this guy now to have like a margin left of two pixels. So it looks a little more centered. Let's even bump it. I'll bump it to four pixels just so it's eyeball centered instead of just like mathematically centered you guys look we're not even getting through this nav bar I really hoped we would I have to do a part two but uh, you see what's going on now the next thing we would do is we're gonna get into that like what's our class that we put on that nav nav items so we've got nav container and we would deal with that, but then we've also got nav items, and then we've also got nav item. And we'd basically just run through these. I know nav items, we need to say like list style none so that we oops, so that we get rid of um, those dots there. And then um, nav item, like the thing is I need to grab in the icons, so it's gonna be harder to see without icons on there. But I would make um, a directory here and we'd say inside of source would say assets Ooh, that was named incorrectly not now okay assets and then inside of that we would end up creating a directory called images I don't know why we're all caps and inside of that I'd even create another directory called icons and inside of this I use something called the noun project I pay like 40 bucks a year for it 
and this guy just has all kinds of little things. So I'd, I'd first grab like settings as an icon. I can just get SVG out of here. So I'd look for the most similar one. We've got like, this guy looks pretty good. They have some, some white space. Their icons are a little bit nicer than anything I'll probably find on here, but we'll just grab one. So I'd be able to save this and I, I'll just save it in black. Actually, I'll just copy it. I'll copy it as SVG, make sure we're doing that. Throw it into here in my icons. I'll just paste it, say settings. It's already in the icons directory, so I don't need to say settings icon. Oh, I'm gonna cheat my time just a little bit. I wanna finish up this nav, you guys. We're just gonna, we're gonna send it. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do like dashboard. I, I think there's all kinds of, yeah, like these little grid boxes, but I want this except for it's just outlines. Oh, there we go. I wish it was a little more rounded. These aren't gonna match exactly, but we'll just go for it. So copy that as SVG. We're gonna do this. this is gonna be a dashboard SVG. Okay, the next thing we've got like profile. I'm just guessing at the names of these things. They're pretty fairly generic. So yeah, there's not one that matches exactly, but we'll just grab a pretty normal one here. Oh, this has so much space around it. I wish maybe I'll just this one's too big. Uh, okay. I don't love, we're gonna have to deal with weird sizing if I grab one that's a weird size. So I'm just gonna use this. We're gonna copy as SVG. We're gonna paste it over here. Profile. And one more time here, we're gonna say analytics. Yeah, we need, oh, look at that. For the love of all that is analytics. That was quick. Here we go, analytics. Man, finally I'm doing something right. That was quick. Okay, so now we're gonna go into here. We'll go into our nav and we're gonna grab, okay, I don't need this logo import anymore, but we are going to import uh, anal analytics icon from, uh, let's see, we're gonna say assets slash images slash icon slash analytics. Now I'm doing it as an import. We're going to try this. So I'm going to be replacing these image tags. And here I'm going to say dashboard icon and profile icon settings icon. I really hope you guys are getting something out of this because otherwise I just wasted a lot of your time. <laughs> Okay, here we go. We are gonna throw in now, in the order that I don't remember, let's see. Settings, dashboard, profile, analytics, set, okay. Settings icon, dashboard icon, um, profile icon, and, and uh, an analytics icon. Yeah, her. Whoa. So you're telling me that didn't work. <laughs> That's actually, uh, be cool, everybody. Be cool. What we're going to do, we're just going to make an image tag. And listen, I never said I was the best. All I, <laughs> all I said was, I could do it, you know? That's all I said. We're just gonna replace each of these. Oh man, I still had those image tags in there. I'm like a, like a total fool. Here we go. Oh, yay. Uh, analytics icon. This is what I should have done uh, from the start. I have this cool little shortcut that should allow me to delete those at the same time. Are we are we cool now, bud? Okay, there we go. I actually don't mind how that turned out. <laughs> okay, we're running on 35 minutes. I'm a little bit scared at this point. So, 
Let's see. We've got uh, we've got to shrink these down, and we're gonna add some opacity because I've got them a very specific color right now. Okay, nav item. Let's just let's just no. I don't want to add. The, we'll just say item image. That's what we're really dealing with. The opacity is gonna be like 0.6 for now. And we're going to say that each nav item is going to be height of 40 pixels, width of 40 pixels, what we're looking at. And then this is like max width should be like 50%. You know what I'm saying? Max height, 50%. That way we kind of round out. Ah, do you see what we're doing here? This is nice. They don't go anywhere, but they're really nice. Okay. That's not that bad. Theirs are definitely, I mean, they're, they have more like a 0.3 or something crazy like that on it. Did that not, did that not work? Oh, there we go. Delayed. Their icons look a much better. So... <laughs> That's too bad. Um, all right, we've got something going on here. Oh, all that padding. That's right, UL. So this is a UL, and it always has like this massive amount of padding on one side. Okay, check that out. Nav item needs to be display flex, Felix, align items, and then we're just gonna center it both ways. There we go. Now what's not centered here? Because everything should be. Ooh, you, sir, are still not centered. Oh, this guy. It's this href, man. This a tag. Display flags. No. Uh, with. <laughs> with auto. All right, maybe we just text align center. I do want the whole thing to be clickable, ideally. Align items, center. Justify content, center. That's all I have to do. We'll get rid of that one. That one didn't do anything. That one doesn't matter. So we'll just do display flex. Oh, display flex and justify content center. That's nav item A. Display flex. See how I do that? I kind of like play around in the console. I think it's really good for playing around. And, uh, and then I end up jumping into, okay, these have a lot of space in between them. So within nav container, we're gonna give this no, it doesn't make sense to do. Each nav item is just actually going to have a margin bottom of like 60 pixels. And let's just see what that looks like. We're actually not looking that bad. That's too much, but like we're headed the right direction here. I'm going to have to give up in two minutes. I'm not going to waste that much of you guys' time. But that's looking pretty nice. I would really like to create, oh yeah, see, I, I, need to, I need to inline my SVGs. I'd use a package for inlining SVGs so that I can change the color of it on the fly without having to make it a different SVG. If you guys want to see more of that, comment uh, down below just so I know that that's a topic you guys are interested in is inline SVGs. Um, but like, basically that's not looking too bad, right? We could play, so we'd be doing a really similar thing here for these inset uh, box shadows. It's a little less complicated than this one actually, um, but you just inset and then you have like a really intense radius that's just like the, the entire thing becomes a circle. We just do that when it's selected. Um, I wanna show you guys more, but that's the end of the video today because I can't do any more on this. It took me 40 minutes just to get this down, uh, but there's kind of a lot of nuance to setting up the project and, and 
getting it all in the right place. But this is basically my workflow. Um, hopefully you guys got something out of this. Let me know if there's something else you guys want to see. And, uh, oh, oh yeah. Don't forget to, uh, like subscribe, comment, you know, if you made it this far, thank you so much. I'm not going to make you do anything actually. Forget it. Love you guys. Bye.